everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about how to add a shadow to buttons on both Squarespace 7.1 and Squarespace 7.0. Now we're going to be talking about how to add this across your whole website on a specific page, in a specific section, and for a specific button. So we should cover just about all of the bases in terms of adding a shadow to your buttons. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the box shadow CSS generator that I have linked below this video. And you're going to want to play with this tool. Um, it was created by CSS Matic. It was not created by me. Um, so you're going to come in here and play around with this tool to find the shadow that you feel uh, you want for your site. So for instance, you can change the horizontal placement of the shadow. You can change the vertical spacing um, and position of the shadow, the blur, you can have it super blurred or you know very distinct. And so you want to add some blur, how much you want it to spread out. Um, you can change the shadow color. So uh, for me on my site, I had a blue uh, button, so I added a blue shadow, which is just a light tone of blue because I felt the black was just too much um, and too prominent. So I changed the shadow color here. Don't worry about the background color or box color that's not added in the CSS so it doesn't really matter here. Um, and then you can also change the opacity so you could have it be really light. I'm going to have mine uh, quite distinct so you can see it on the site as I'm talking about it but you can make it quite light or, or strong. So once you play with this and you get the shadow you want you want to take note of this code and kind of hold on to it as we go into our next few steps. So if you are working in Squarespace 7.1, so chances are if you have a fairly new site, you are in 7.1. If your site is not new, you could be working in 7.0. Um, so if you're in 7.1, you're gonna follow these steps. If you're in 7.0, you might wanna skip ahead and go to the steps for 7.0. So for 7.1, you're going to go to Design, Custom CSS, and if you want to add the buttons across the, um, or the shadow to buttons across the entire site, then you're gonna copy and paste the code listed below this video for all buttons. I'm gonna paste that here. Then go to your box shadow CSS generator and copy the code right there and you're gonna paste it where it says CSS code from generator here. So you can delete that and paste in your code from the generator. You should now see that all the buttons on your site have this shadow added to them, just like this. Okay. If you want the buttons on just one page, so maybe I just want them on the home page, I don't want them on all of my other pages. So in order to do that, we have to add a collection ID in front of this uh, class here. So in order to do that, you need to have your website opened in Chrome and have Chrome Developer Tools turned on. Then you're going to hover over top your page, right click and select Inspect. Then you're going to scroll up until you see a big block of blue text and you'll see what I mean when we get to it right there do you see that big block of blue text you're going to scroll up to the top of that and you should see a collection dash and a bunch of letters and numbers this is your collection ID so ID collection and so on so we're going to copy that so double click on it copy it and then in front of this code, you're going to put hashtag, paste that collection ID, and space. You should now see that your shadow is still on the page that you want it to be on. But if you click over to another page on your website, the buttons on that page should not have a shadow. So it will only be applied to that um, page that you got the collection ID from. Now let's say I only want it on one section. So I only want 
these buttons to have a shadow. I don't want any other buttons to have the shadow. So again, you're going to go over to um, the code that says all buttons in one section and you're gonna copy that code. And I suggest kind of pasting it below what we already have here and that's just so we don't lose the code we've already found. Okay. I'm then going to replace collection ID with the actual ID that we found and I'm going to copy this code here from our code generator and paste it in there. And then I can delete this. Okay. So I have our collection ID and then our code from the generator here. Now you should see that they're no longer, I don't have a shadow in this section and that's because it has the page section as one. And this is not the first section on this page. So to figure out what section it is, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the top of the page. I'm going to click edit. And each of your sections will be divided up by this plus button. So we can kind of just count our sections. So I have one, two, three, four. So this PT section is my fourth section. So I'm gonna click done. And I'm gonna change this one to a four. And now I should see that this section does have the shadow and the other sections do not. Let's say I just want the shadow applied to this button. No other buttons, just this one. So in order to do that, I'm gonna delete out these last two brackets and the first two lines here. And again, you can just copy this from my blog and add in your generator code here again. And then I need to add the block ID. So I'm going to hover over top the button that I want and similar to how we found our collection ID, I'm going to right click and select inspect. And then I'm going to slowly scroll up. It should only be a couple of lines away. I wanna find the block ID. Okay, so if you find it here, I have ID equals YUI, I don't want that one. That's not a block ID. I wanna keep going up until I see ID equals block dash and a bunch of random letters and numbers, okay? When I hover over top this block ID, I should see the button I want highlighted, right? If I've gone too far, you'll see something else highlighted, okay? So I hover over top this block ID, I see that my button that I want is highlighted. So I'm going to double click and copy that block ID and in front of this code, I'm going to put hashtag the block ID space. And I should see that this button now has the shadow and no other buttons, just this specific one. Okay, so that is how you add a shadow to buttons across your site on one page, on one section, and to a specific button in Squarespace 7.1. So let's repeat that for Squarespace 7.0. So here is a template from Squarespace 7.0. I'm going to go to design, custom CSS. And if I want them across the entire site, very similar to how it is for 7.1, I'm gonna copy the code for add shadow to all buttons. Copy my code from my generator. I can delete out the CSS code from generator here and I'm going to paste my code from the generator there. Now it looks a little funky. This is probably not the code that I would um, choose for a shadow, you know, design wise, but just so that you can see how we're doing it. Um, you can see the shadow has now come up there and it should come up to all buttons on the site as well. Okay, so that is how you apply it site wide. If I just want it on this index page, so I just want it on this index page here, I need to have my site opened in Chrome and Chrome Developer Tools turned on. I'm gonna hover over top this section 
right click and select inspect. And I need to find the collection ID. So to do that, I'm going to scroll up until I see a big block of blue text. So right here, this big block here to the very top until I find the collection ID. So say collection dash and a bunch of random letters and numbers. So I'm going to double click that, copy it, and in front of this code, I'm going to put hashtag paste my collection ID space. And you should see that it has come up on this page. But if you click to another page on your site, let's see. You should see that these other buttons do not have the shadow. So it's only applied to the very first page that I found the collection ID from. Now, if I want it just on one page within an index, let's say I want this uh, page to have the shadow, but I don't want any other pages on here, you'll need to use the page URL. So to do that, you're going to click on settings, find the URL slug here, copy it, and instead of the collection ID, you're gonna do hashtag and the page URL. And you should see that, you know, this one has the shadow, but if I go to the other ones, it does not. If the page URL does not work, you'll need to find the ID of this page. So right click, inspect, and you'll want to slowly scroll up until you see section ID, and in this case it's about, which was the URL. So usually the ID here is your page URL, but if you're not using a Brine template uh, or template from the Brine family, that might not be the case, so you can find it here. So section ID equals, and you'll notice that when I hover over this section, this specific page in the index is highlighted. So if I hover over top, it only highlights that section, it doesn't highlight the section below. So it can be a little bit tricky to find, and usually it's the page URL, but if that's not working, you can find it here. And lastly, if I want it just on one button, so let's say in this section, there's a bunch of buttons, but I just want this one button to be have the shadow, then you're going to right click, inspect, and you need to find the block ID of this button. So I'm going to scroll up just slowly and just above you should see the block ID and it's not the YUI ID, okay? That doesn't work, it has to be the block ID. But if I hover over top, you should see that whole button highlighted. I'm going to copy that ID and I'm going to put hashtag and then the block ID. And you should see again, that button is highlighted, um, but no other buttons in this section would have the shadow and nowhere else on the page would it have the shadow, just this button. And so that should cover all of your bases for adding a shadow to buttons in both Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1.